Northern Territory. It's a special place, there's no doubt about that. And like a lot of these places, it means something different to each of us. But very few would argue that Kakadu National Park forms an integral part of their top end experience. And particularly those areas around Kuinda, about a three hour drive from Darwin. This is yellow water at dawn. That's when I recommend you go and see it. That's when the colors are at their best and all the critters come out to play. And while there's no shortage of crocodiles right through the top end, you'll see plenty on yellow water, I guarantee it. But of course, it's not just about the crocs, and the birds too are a big attraction. The magpie geese, and the whistling ducks, the jacanas with their long toes suitable for lily walking, hiding their young under their wings, Did I mention whistling ducks? Well, you'll see a few of them. And the graceful brolgas, if you're lucky. Maybe a darter drying its wings. Or a lonely egret standing guard over a thicket of hyacinth. And if you've got the time, I strongly advise you come across into Arnhem Land and get a little taste of uh, Aboriginal art at the In Inyaluk Art Centre of Gumbalanya. But uh, this is the view. If you do the walk up Inyaluk Hill and, and take in some of the rock art, there's some great galleries here. You can see a little bit of smoke in the shot. It's because my guide's just lit a fire. <laughs> Keep the snake away, he tells me. And remember that pretty little stream I crossed on the way over? Well, this is what it looks like when the tide's up. As I said earlier, there's no shortage of crocs about. The crocodiles are actually there to catch fish coming over the causeway. But they're not that fussy that they wouldn't enjoy a wayward tourist, got out of the car at the wrong time and slipped. Just remember, they're always there. And if you still haven't had enough crocodiles, why not check out the jumping crocodile tours on the Adelaide River? You've got a couple of choices here between the larger operators right on the Arnhem Highway or you can go out to Fog Dam for a more personalised experience with Morgan Bowman of Adelaide River Cruises. So that snapping noise they make, what is that? That's the door shutting, the that's air just... shutting and the sound of the door shutting. Yeah, just like... It's about three tonne of door pressure there roughly, 3,000 tonnes, that all, it's not much is it? No. Humans are about 300, they're about 10 times more powerful than what we are. So what do you think it is about? Jumping crocodile. I don't know why. It's, well, I don't particularly like the word. I mean, it's, it sounds like a bit of a. I know it sounds like a bit artificial. A party doesn't it? trick. A yeah. party trick. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's what they do, and what they do in the wild, they do that. They'll jump up trees and grab birds, and I've seen them jump up onto onto banks and grab wallabies off the bank and pigs and stuff like that. So most people, you know, really enjoy it. But yeah, they just like the. Um, I suppose a small group tour. And they get close up to the animals, and they love the environment of the of the wildness of the mm -hmm. area. But if you like your wilderness experience to come with a bit of luxury, then maybe Bamaroo Wild Bush Luxury is more your speed. Manager Gary Cross. The concept of this resort is to give people a unique wilderness experience, um, feed them well, give them a good night's sleep, some nice drinks. We're almost on African safari. Well, that was the idea of the owner, to create that concept. Uh, success stories in Africa of those safari type excursions people go on. And, and he's, he's tried to capture that here in the way he's designed the property and, uh, and its location and the type of experience we offer with safari drives, airboat uh, experiences out on the wetlands, river cruises where the crocodiles are on the Sampan Creek. So there's a great lot of things to see here and two or three days you get to capture most of that in that, that type of stay. Um, but the type of lodges, the accommodation, the clear open views of, of the cabins that, uh, that let you sleep with all the, the animals surrounding you. There's no fences here, so the buffalo, the wallabies, everything walks through amongst the camp. Uh, we don't interact with anything on the property, everything is left in its own natural state. Leave it as is, don't interfere with it, just look at it.